Hello Bridgewater College students. I'm Kevin Perkins, Supervisor of Technology for Rockingham County Public Schools. In this screencast, we're going to take a look at some of the online resources you can use to find smart notebook lessons and other items that are useful when you have a smart board in your classroom to create interactive learning opportunities for your students. One of the best places to look for smart notebook lessons is the smart exchange and that's just exchange.smarttech.com you'll need to create a free account to access fully all the resources available in the smart exchange library and you can see that I've already logged into smart exchange with my account let's say for example you're a fourth grade teacher in Virginia wanting to find smart notebook lessons on the American Revolution you could certainly go ahead and, and do a general keyword search for American Revolution. And that will turn up some results. But you may want to find lessons more aligned to the Virginia SOLs. You can see there we found 142 notebook lessons doing a general keyword search for American Revolution. Another way I could search would be to start out with the standards aligned option. And here I could select the Virginia Standards of Learning, fourth grade, history and social science. This is actually broken down by SOL. So if we scroll down to this standard, student will demonstrate knowledge of the role of Virginia in the American Revolution. Let's view those resources, and you'll see here a much smaller set of results. But here's one, Virginia in the New Nation, that's more aligned to Virginia SOLs. Before downloading, you can click to preview the lesson. And if it's something you're interested in downloading, simply clicking the download button will download that to your desktop. Having worked in Rockingham County Public Schools for the last 15 years, I wanted to highlight some of the resources you could find on our website to guide you to interactive resources you can use with students. If you go to our technology portal, you'll see that we have some web-based resource collections, some correlated with SOLs. So if we click on the K-5 to subjects with SOL correlation, Let's go to third grade math. Here you'll see the third grade math SOLs and for example SOL 3.1 if you click on the Smartboard link you'll see any Smartboard activities related to that particular SOL. So let's click on the practice place value notebook lesson. By clicking that this particular one guides you to the Smart Exchange where you can download it. Here's a place value chart. That happens to be a lesson that will download to your desktop. And by opening that, you'll see that it's an interactive notebook lesson. So we can create the number 2,579, for example. So there are plenty of lessons out there just on the Rockingham County page in Smart Notebook that you could use. One other option you have with the Smart Board in your classroom is just using interactive websites rather than lessons in Notebook and have students interact with those. For example, Internet for Classrooms is a great site. So there if you go to grade level help, let's go to first grade skills, let's go to mathematics number and operations and let's do skip count connect the dots
So that's just one example of an activity you could have students go up to the board and interact with. Hope you found this screencast about using online resources with Smart Notebook useful. Good luck.